united against love. Indian religious leaders unite against gay marriage. In an unusual display of unity, religious leaders from India's major faiths, including Muslim, Christian, Sikh, and Jain communities, have joined forces with Hindu nationalists to oppose same-sex marriage. This comes as India's Supreme Court hears petitions from LGBT organizations seeking to legalize same-sex marriage following the decriminalization of homosexuality in 2018. These religious groups claim that same-sex marriage infringes on holy scriptures and disrupts the quote-unquote natural family order. However, in a progressive move compared to the other groups, the Hindu nationalist group, the Rastriya uh, Sayamak Sang, sorry, the RSS for short, has a slightly more nuanced take on the issue. While they oppose same-sex marriage in line with the ruling BJP party, they do not oppose same-sex relationships as a whole. And in Asia, Taiwan is currently the only Asian country to have legalized same-sex marriage. India is trying to join the ranks and the religious, the religious groups have joined together and said, no. But I love that the Hindutva is the most progressive. <laughs> <laughs> oh they're like God. everyone else says that they can't have a relationship all together like we don't think that they can get married but it's fine if they have a relationship that's chill <laughs> the most far right movement in india is more progressive than the religious groups that's mm -hmm. insane mm -hmm. india is just like a weird case it's hard to explain it's, it to other people. It's unfortunate. You know how there's like that meme of like all the different fists, you know, coming together to join hands in the center. So I was imagining that meme with all the different religious groups in India. And then it was like opposing gay marriage in the middle. Like somehow that's a, that, that has what is, has united these religious groups. We, ha we have the Jamaat Yal Hind side by side with the Jains, side by side with the Sikhs, side by sides with the Hindus <laughs> and saying, the Jains as well? no, thank you. They said oh no homo. <laughs> no homo. No homo from all of them. Is this the Buddhist as well? The Sorry? What about the Buddhist? The Buddhists? I think that there yeah. was also a Buddhist group that opposed this as well. Oh, wow. <laughs> Do you think clapping, no one died? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Um wow. I mean, he let me give you a silver lining. Okay. Can I give a silver lining? Okay. I think we should be thankful to show people why we hate all religions, right? <laughs> so, as much as as much as sometimes we're like, "Oh my god, Islam is uniquely bad about this," or Hinduism is uniquely bad about this, right? It's moment like this where we come together and we realize that when it comes to progress and acceptance and and love, they're just all pieces of shit that need to go together. You know, it's just reminding the progressives that religions what they have in common. And I, I think we should thank ideologies. We could do better yeah. without these ideologies. Yes, yes, yes. And I think the LGBT community is 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 a good because. When it comes to leftists and progressives and liberals and everything in between, right? When they sometimes like, yeah, maybe you should respect people's religion, given how important LGBT rights are to all of these groups that we mentioned. I think it's good. To, it's a good way to remind them, like, really, is this what you guys want to look at? Look at mm -hmm. what they all like. These people hate each other, right? But look what they get united on. Yeah. This is this is the, this is the key thing that they're united on. So yeah. this is thank the you only, for this your is service. The only thing that they can agree on. <laughs> Yeah. Um this <laughs> as soon as I saw this comment, I nearly fell out of my chair. Divided by religion, united by what? Are you gay? Guys, if you don't know what this is referring to, this is referring to a video by a homophobic Ugandan pastor that <laughs> it's 
probably. You know, homophobia isn't funny, but this homophobia is the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> and when you say it, remember, it's not gay, gay A Y. It's gay, gay spelled <laughs> G G E Y. What are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Um, yeah. Okay. And we had a okay, we had a super chat by Gaysian America. Gaysian American. It was I love this. This is funny. He's saying, My brothers in bizarro Eastern religions, decolonize your minds. Taiwan has legalized same-sex men marriage under the auspices of the rabbit god. Hashtag free love. Mm. So he's mm. saying, you know, us 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 Dharmic in Eastern you know religions we 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 have more flexibility we are so much more expansive we must freeze our minds actually colonization is a huge part literally of why we have these laws in these countries it is colonization they do need decolonization yeah we want to talk about this, not in everything, identity yeah. crisis how about we get rid of these british era natural order laws this comes from the british Okay, Sorry. but don't throw everything from the British. They also brought a lot of good things. But this one, yeah, get rid of this one. Um, they also brought the blasphemy laws. Yes. Um, but they also brought good things, also. Right, so, yeah, we already read that one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I still can't get over. What? Are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> moment recently where i won't explain the context because it's like in my personal life but i saw two men doing something and in my head i went what are you gay <laughs> <laughs> it's infected my mind <laughs> by the way for everybody every susanna is herself lgbt so yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. um so if you think she's being helpful to the LGBT, she herself is LGBT. So <laughs> I, 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 I am gay. I look in the mirror and I say, why are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Going on right, dates with women. Some... Why are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, read this one, read this one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Sauslan <laughs> is saying, but the Jane are peace-loving, and I think also accepting of difference of people, difference between people, but I suppose Armin is right. There is no religion at all, no good religion at all. Okay. I don't give credit to any religion, any nonsensical idea for being peaceful, okay? Because it's not that hard to be like let's not murder people okay and some ideologies are like hey we don't murder people therefore I'll buy all our nonsense all our bs right also being you... sorry go ahead no Finish. i mean it's it's like me giving me coming out with a book of absolute nonsense and just because i didn't ask anybody to behead anybody in that book um i use that as a selling tactic to sell all of that nonsense that's not you shouldn't give credit to ideologies for for not murdering people it's easy not to murder people okay so i just want to highlight that a lot of these ideologies sell themselves just because they have managed to not ask also for blood. like jainism is not as chill as people think it is like jainism no, is very like probably the most sex negative religion i've ever heard of yes they, they share that they a lot of them share that like Islam is way more sex positive than Jainism. <laughs> like, well, Islam is sex positive exactly where you shouldn't be sex positive in all the wrong places. <laughs> Wait, where is the? Oh, so Anish is using his membership, celebrating his one month membership, to say, Brits did not bring some good things. Please, really, really, they did not bring any good things. Anish, are you sure about that? Because India would you. literally not be a united federal state if it wasn't for the British. Yeah. I mean, maybe you could say that that itself is not a good thing. 
but India oh, would yeah. not be a centralized nation if it wasn't for the British. It'd be a collection of different little states and civilizations and clans. They brought science and technology and infrastructure and, you know, a lot of systems, you know. There's, they brought they brought a lot of things. I mean, I'm not endorsing a lot of the evil stuff. Oh yeah, did, let's not kill yeah, ourselves. Yeah. It was there was straight up barbarism that they also brought to the yeah. continent. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But they also brought a lot of good things. You know, I, I'm tempted to show the video from the Monty Python, the part that they said the Romans. What did the Romans do ever for us? And people keep listening. Do you know that's? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that from the Life of Brian? <laughs> we shouldn't show yeah, that though because that's gonna get us. Marked because that's from a movie. Is, you know, Armin, we so could. Old? Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. Just search. What did the Romans ever do for us? Just watch. Yeah. That. Yeah. 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 What, what have the Romans ever? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Watch that. That's really good. Oh my God, Armin! Do you remember that video that I showed you the other day, where it was that guy yelling at a um an English dude, and he's saying, "What civilization? What civilization did you have? You needed the Romans to f you in the ass to get any semblance of civilization. You want to talk shit <laughs> about Asians? What the fuck do you have?" Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, I, I have that. nothing on Asia. That's right. That's right. You have nothing on Asia. Like, <laughs> you want to be racist? I can be way more racist. <laughs> <laughs> that was... I watch that video, I swear to God, like one time mm -hmm. every day because it makes me laugh so hard. You needed the Romans to F you in your ass to get any civilization. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> oh god. Um Oh my god. Oh, we did get another super chat, which I don't understand. Oh, religion yeah, belongs saying, in an American is no. saying religions belong in animes, not a guide to life. Okay. Meaning like if if like you make religion into like an anime, like that'd be a cool show, right? That'd be an oh, entertaining yeah. show. Yeah. That'd be a dope anime. Ooh, I want to see Islamic anime. Well, not yeah. There is a lot of Islamic anime, but, but I mean, made by actual Japan, Japan, yeah. like a, like a whole series. That would be cool. That would. Be um, that would be pretty badass. All right. And there was Can also a. An... Sorry, I just oh. have to say there was a comment by Mustafa saying, "I'm a journalist and I was interviewing a gay rights activist and I wanted to ask, what are you gay?" <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want to say I can't be the only bisexual out here that just looks at myself sometimes when I'm just losing my mind over women and goes, what are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's, it's called bisexual culture. And I would like yeah. you guys to respect my culture. <laughs> That's all I'm asking. <laughs> you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.